So if we see here, guys, right, by using Charles as the example, shattered. Now, when we then when we see these elemental, when we see these elemental reactions, right, we think, oh, it's mixing with something else. So overload, fire, and lightning, superconduct, lightning, and ice, electrocharge, lightning, and water, and then shattered would be frozen enemies that you break. So basically ice and water you freeze the enemy and then you break it that's shattered and then we see swirl we all know what swirl damage is so okay so let's see chanyun normal attack would be one three eight so if they're frozen his ice stock is still 138. So if I pop Zing Kui and frozen, that 815 right there, that's shattered damage. If you wait, okay, wait, frozen 815 again, that's shattered damage. 815 shattered damage. 815 shattered damage. So that's shattered damage right there. It it appears as a a physical attack so currently in the game the only way to get shadow damage to do shadow damage would be to use in water and then ice so if we and if we come over here and look at Zhongli trailer I gotta pop it up in a second okay so if we come over here to watch Zhongli trailer. Let's watch it together. Um, actually, uh, let's just skip. Skip, skip, skip. First of all, Zhongli is amazing. And if you guys haven't watched the trailer, you sh definitely, definitely should. Um. Okay, right here. So, yeah. Zhongli pet first of all, Zhongli look like he petrifies everyone. I don't know about bosses yet, but this this is this is potential this is gonna be big, big, big. And okay, we notice there that right there he actually shattered people. So I don't know if that's actually I don't know if he actually shattered them or that's just part of the ability that it would break afterwards. But I'm thinking it's shattered damage. And if I'm correct and it is shattered damage, that Zhongli can put two um, elemental reactions by itself without anyone even needing to be there. So he already have his Geo Shields, of course, that we know he could proc when he hit an enemy mixed with any other element. So he, he could proc his Geo Shield by itself. And I, I don't mean his normal ability shield, I mean the actual Geo Shield with the color. So he could proc that by himself and it looks like he could also proc shattered damage by himself. So if he petrifies enemies with his ult and if you probably turn this only into a uh, ult bot spam um because I believe this ult cooldown is as low as actually let's just let's just check. Let's just check. But if you guys come out to this website honey honey hunter world Genjin honey or whatever this literally has like everything so he would not because if they petrified that would be considered as tub and geo element on them so it actually drain them wow like the more i look at it the more i think Zhongli is just busted like he is literally the 1v9 champ so if we see here planet befall okay the cooldown is 12 seconds so let's say you mix this with maybe two Nemo characters, uh, Venti and Sucrose probably. Uh, I have a lot of team comps. I, I'm thinking of for, for Zhongli, but twelve seconds, and it lasts four seconds at max, well almost max, and with well with later constellations it could go up to six seconds. Constellation four, his petrification goes up to six seconds. 
So it lasts 12 seconds and you could have potentially be petrified for up to six seconds and then you do shatter damage. And if you build them with a lot of energy recharge, that's, oh man, just think of it. Like, because he already, when he holds ability, he is already doing a significant amount of damage to them. And then he procs the shatter damage on top of it. Oh, Zhongli is broken.